Arm control, stow the crew access arm for launch. Roger. Seconds. A minus twenty five seconds. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Starliner. Go Starliner. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And lift off the rise of Starlight, new era, human space. Seven. It's currently configured for five, and uh, we have uh, a, a deal with NASA for four of those seats. So clearly, we have uh, a lot of interest. Over time, safety will improve, costs will improve, and I really think that that is the long pole out there, is can we bring the cost of an orbital flight down to the realm at which perhaps um, somebody that is of moderate means can do it? We probably are a few years away from that, but we won't get there until we start. And what we're gonna see tomorrow is the start. Just real quick, I feel like I have to answer your question because uh, even though I was a physicist in my previous life, I think I'm the only one up here who went to a liberal arts college. So of course, uh, arts and sciences together have a special place in my heart. Um, and I'll tell you, uh, in my life as a high energy physicist, um, there was a quote that always resonated with me, uh, both about science and especially about the arts. Um, the director of the uh, Fermi National Accelerator Lab, where I used to work, uh, was in front of Congress testifying at the height of the Cold War. And he was asked how what we do would help protect the country. And he paused for a moment and he said, it's not going to help at all, but it's going to make it a country worth protecting. And so um, I'm, I'm right with you. I, I love the science and I love uh, everything else uh, that we've got available to us to help us appreciate why we do what we do. Sorry, I, I, I just want to weigh in on this as well, if that's all right, for just a second. Look, we have a history. There, there have been commercial astronauts that have launched before. You just look at a Anusha Ansari or Dennis Tito or Richard Garriott. Like, there, there is a precedence for this activity. Um, so so there, there, is a, there is a way this can be done. But to, to, to the point, there's a couple of things. We need to make sure that there are people that want to go to space that are not NASA astronauts. That's why commercial crew is so important. We want to drive down the cost for the activities we need to do, which means we need industry. I like to talk about the industrialization of low Earth orbit. Industrialization is what we need to do, but you're talking about poets. When you say poets, what I hear is pop culture. We need, we need space flight to be embedded in every part of the American culture, because that's how we keep moving forward. That's how we encourage people um, and our members of Congress to continue investing in this activity. Um, but I'm also a big fan is it Mary Liz, is that your name? That's right. I'm also a big fan of sending, of sending journalists. So maybe there's an opportunity I'm for really, you. Yeah. I'm small, I don't weigh very much. As the administrator mentioned, this is really the new era of space flight. It's so incredible to be a part of that. And by this new era, what it's doing is it's opening up low earth orbit. It's opening up space to not only just our government astronauts, but now commercial astronauts and more people on Earth that want access to space. We're talking about technology development, we're talking about science, but we're also talking about folks 
that can capture the amazement of space. So maybe teachers, maybe journalists, maybe artists that are able to gather everything that we see in space, the amazement of what we're doing, and they're able to translate that back to the people on Earth. And that's going to pay dividends and benefits, not only for inspiring the next generation, for helping us to understand as human race, as humankind, how we take care of our planet, how we interact with each other, and really where our future goes. So uh, I think it's the possibilities are just beginning, and it's incredible to be excited for that and for the launch tomorrow.